November 25th, 1940. Life has been easy in the Mediterranean, and our patrols have been rather simple since our last raid on Malta. I must admit that I have grown bored over the last month, as we haven't come across any merchants. At this point, I would rather be back in the Atlantic, where at least I know my crew and I would feel as though we're contributing to the war effort rather than sitting around and wasting supplies. We've been patrolling just to the north of British-occupied Egypt, and have spotted nothing in over a week since we've been here. I have been scouting out the port of Alexandria, and have taken notice that their defenses consist of only a few anti-tank guns. After discovering these weaknesses, I sent requests to command to allow me to strike the port, as I feel there will possibly be warships or merchant ships that won't be suspecting a U-boat presence this far from German-occupied territory. It has been three days since I sent that request, but this morning I was informed by my first officer that we received a message giving us the go-ahead to strike fast and leave before the British know what happened to him. Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Crazy Jester, and welcome to another episode of U-Boat down here in the Mediterranean. And let me tell you something, there has been nothing going on in the Mediterranean. Uh, it has been... Ah, there we go. There's our first little bit of defenses. It has been pretty, uh, pretty lame since we've arrived here. There we go. We got some merchant ships, it looks like. But we finally got the go-ahead to strike hard, strike fast and get the hell out of Dodge before the British know what happened here in the port of Alexandria where I suspect I would imagine there would be a lot of warships here as this is kind of like their main hub for British occupied Egypt but it looks as though we're gonna be dealing with a lot of merchant ships after dealing that blow to the uh, port of Malta we figured we'd come down here and we've been scouting around just across the northern edge here of Egypt and it says Port of Alexandria is the base of the British Mediterranean fleet imported goods, food, tea, medical supplies, ammunition, iron ore, lumber and replacement parts. The exported goods coming out of here again would be food, tea, rubber utilities, medical supplies, ammunition, depth charges which we of course want to get rid of, iron ore, lumber and potassium absorbers. So striking this port is going to be pretty vital for the war effort on our hands and hopefully getting the upper hand here in the uh, African campaign. But let's try and figure out the major players here that we're, uh, we want to go after. I mean, this looks like a relatively small merchant, but do they have any? That looks like it might be a big one. We want to get the large freighters since we can't be here for too long. You know what? Let's go ahead and get a little bit closer if we can. Oh yeah, this is looking like a kind of the same port as Malta. But it certainly looks like we have a lot more targets. A more target-rich environment, if you will. Go ahead and go Periscope up and let's see what we have. Yeah, some of these are going to be no-brainers that we have to go for, but there's their small defenses that they just won't be able to do much with. I'm not seeing any large cargo ships as it stands as we scout out the entire area. This might be the large... There we go. That's a... That's a big one. Get him. As soon as we can knock out whatever we can here, we do have orders to get the hell out of here before the British actually know what happened. And, uh... That's what we mean to do. So we won't be able to knock out much. I say we're probably only going to be able to knock out four ships before we have to get out of here. So we're definitely going to be going after this one right here. Because this is the largest of the group. Let's go ahead and lock on, shall we? The Oligarch. And it is a tanker with a velocity of zero. We're going to go ahead and get started right off the bat here. It doesn't really matter for our course, of course, because... And it looks like an old class... There we go. Let's go ahead and get our first two loaded and ready to rock. You know, I said we'd only have four targets. We do have an aft torpedo, which we'll be using as well. That'll be good to use. Depth of two point, or we'll do two meters with a speed. We're gonna, oh, you know, we'll do 30 knots so it doesn't run out of juice. It's 1.9 kilometers away. Let's go ahead and fire. Los! All right, we got one fish away. Let's go ahead and unlock if we can from him. Look for our next target, which should be actually pretty close. Little freighter, Empire Blessing. 
Tubes 3 loaded. We are going to try and knock all these ships out at once. And then we'll get an aft torpedo out of here. And then we will be turning around. This whole attack should be pretty quick. Go ahead and unlock. Next target. Next one will be the Empire Crown here. Let's go ahead and get our courses set. The first, the second torpedo I just hit should be striking much sooner than the rest of them as the others have quite a bit to travel. Go ahead and load. Two meters. We can get this guy going fast. Fire. And we need one more, which it's still being. Looks like we got a strike. Yes, we did. Perfect. I just heard another boom. That means we must have struck in the tanker. Yes, we did. Look at that. Beautiful. Multiple explosions going up. And it looks as though it is going down as well, which means the last one should be... There we go. That's a sink. We should be good on this one, then. This should be striking relatively soon. Another successful port attack against the... There we go. Perfect. Against the allies here. Perfect. Objective completed. Sink enemy trade ships with a total gross register tonnage of 10,000 tons. Let's see if this is actually... Losing health. It sure is losing it fast. Alright, we have... Two more torpedoes ready to rock and roll. We need to figure out what we need to strike. We're going to strike this one. Let's go ahead and... Lock onto this next one. Freighter, recognize, velocity zero. Of course, we know to be nothing, but we need it because. Otherwise, I won't let us shoot this torpedo. Eins. Load Bebesser. one. 44 knots for speed. Eins. And fire. Last thing we're going to need is a good target for our aft torpedo. And I dare say, oh, look at this. This is a freighter right here. Oh, that would be good to get rid of. I dare say our aft one will be right here. Can we see that freighter from here? Oh my goodness, we can. I'll tell you what we're going to do. If we can knock out that defense, we're going to try this. We're going to surface the boat and try and knock out that defense. And then we are going to pepper the war Afridi. And then we're getting out of here. That's the plan and I'm sticking to it. Go ahead and... Stop. We're going to go ahead and surface the boat. Get our first officer ready to rock and roll on the guns. We got APHE ready to rock. Let's go ahead and fire. There we go. We got another ship sinking. Perfect, gentlemen. Perfect. Good bloody work. Nice. Exactly what we needed. Perfect. Thank goodness for these HE rounds. And it looks like that just went down immediately. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and get our radio man on board here if we can. Get these values off. All right, this has been successful. I think we need to go ahead and get out of here as that was our orders. Let's go ahead and go forward three. Turning completely around if we can. And let's get the hell out of Dodge. We're going to see if we can use our aft torpedo to strike this just before we leave. Go velocity zero. Of course, we know to be nothing and a distance of roughly 700 yards. Go ahead and load our aft torpedo. Get ready to fire this. And fire. One more torpedo while we leave this port. And it's looking all right if I do say so myself.
All right, overall, not bad, not bad at all. How's our fuel situation looking? We are at 59%. You know what I would like to do? I'd like to go around the Cyprus area and see if there are any warships. Now that we've dealt with the Port of Alexandria, certainly put a, a halt on the supplies going into and out, hopefully. But now I'd like to go around the Cyprus area and see if there are any warships that we can spot around this area. Palestine may be around there, but we want we want these warships out. Completely gone. I said Cyprus, but maybe maybe around the Greek islands over here as well wouldn't be too bad. Alright, uh, we have arrived near the island of Cyprus. Let's go ahead and drop down periscope depth, please. We'll lower our speed, of course, to one. Get our Hydrophone ready to rock and roll and also give you an extra person. Let's see if we're dealing with anything close by. It would seem as though nothing around the island of Cyprus, which I'm not too terribly shocked by as there's nothing really going on over here. Let's go hunt around the Greek islands right over here and see what we can come across. Service the boat before we run out of air. You, sir, can go back to the listening room. Give our guy back to Mr. Kurt Hoffman and Mr. Horst Weber. Please get back on the engines. Let's go. Well, we we're amongst the islands near Greece here, and I gotta tell you, there's just nothing. I'm telling you, the Mediterranean Sea is a very quiet place where I did not expect that. I thought there was gonna be bustling full of ships, but I'll tell you, these past uh, few weeks, I have been struggling to find anything around here and here we go we were heading back towards our home port as our fuels are running a little low at 38 percent but near the grand harbor of malto it looks as though we might have caught something that is leaving and it is a tiny group one we do have propeller noise we are of course going to head this off and see if we can't knock it out hopefully it's a supply ship Warships would be good, but I think supplies would be more crippling to the Allies if we can knock those out rather than other uh, warships at this point in the war. Go ahead, we should be getting close here. Change our course. It's uh, 10 a.m. and it looks as though it might be a little foggy out, which is... Okay, It's no, it's a clear day. It's a clear day. That's good. Go ahead and do a little bit of time compression, and here we go. Perfect. Go ahead and get set up into a good attacking angle here. We should be looking at around 1.5 kilometers. Perfect. Let's go ahead and stop while we can. See what we're dealing with. And that is one British convoy ready to rock and roll. Go ahead and recognize. Let him get a little closer if he can. Raise periscope, please. Let's go ahead and get a velocity now that we're actually dealing with velocities on ships. Start. This poor soul has no idea what's about to happen. And stop. But I guess that was the uh, scary part in regards to dealing with U-boats in World War II. Looking at an angle roughly like that. Maybe ever so slightly up. We'll call it 97. I think that's a good course. 97.4 works for me. And a distance currently from us to the ship. We are currently looking at 1.4 kilometers. Go ahead and knock that in. 1,400 yards. Let's get one tube loaded. Perfect. Compressed air levels are too low. Let's go ahead and get our diesel compressor going then if we can. Do a little bit of time compression here. There we go. Perfect. Reconfirm our distance now since we have changed up a bit. It is still 1.4 kilometers and force reset that. That and fire. Yes! Torpedo is away, ladies and gentlemen. Should be getting a strike here any and perfect. My god, we broke it in half. Completely broke it in half. Good friggin' hit. 
And that is going to be one British merchant down. It is going down fast. Yes, it is. We are going to go ahead and surface the boat, please. And let's head over to this area. Get our guy over here on the listening room if we can. And forward two. Let's go ahead and look for any survivors. Try and get the uh, captain and first officers on board if we can, as they are worth the most. Get that Empire Duke off to the BDU. If there's anything nearby, lifeboat number one. All crewmen. Number two. There we go. These are who we're looking for. Go ahead and take them on board and confirm that. Send a diver. Do we have diving supplies? We do not have a diving suit, unfortunately, although that would be awesome to have. That's something we're going to have to pick up. To remind myself to pick one up. All right, we have what we need. Go ahead and get out of here. Go forward four before news gets out that we are down this way. We'll go ahead and use the hydrophone as soon as we're close to Malta again, just to see if there's anything nearby. But we can't be doing too much as our fuel levels are dangerously low. It appears the nothing as it stands right now. We're going to go ahead and set a course back to our home port. And if we come across anything between now and then, then we'll, uh, we'll get ready for this. Go ahead and surface the boat. We will return. All right, well, we didn't, uh, unfortunately, came across nothing. Mediterranean is just super quiet. I want to know what's going on. We might have to go back to Gibraltar on the next uh, patrol just to try and pick at the warships of the uh, Allies. Mr. Kurt Hoffman almost with the Knight's Cross. And, of course, we are getting closer and closer to the Knight's Cross. Oak leaves with cross swords and diamonds. That is a mouthful, let me tell you. Battle of the Mediterranean, and we are nearing that beautiful 100,000 ton mark, which will be fantastic once it's all done. This is good. All right, well, I don't see any reason. We only already went on a long break for the crew. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go and get everything ready to get the ship. While I remember, do we have any diving suits, sir? Wait, we do have a diving suit. Alright, we need to go dive then. We'll start doing more of that. I think that could be actually pretty interesting if we're able to do that. Go ahead and buy everything for our deck gun and get that reloaded. Fuel. Definitely need more fuel as we are running low on fuel. We'll probably have to send somebody out to go look up more fuel and supply. Let's go and see if there's anything that we can either research in or go check out. Ooh, we could do some aerial reconnaissance, which would be nice. But really, we need uh, military stashes. We can get a new hydrophone. You know what? That is actually something I would like. Go ahead and accept that. And then the next thing is the military stash. There we go. Perfect. Get those all done. Goodbye. And then we are going to go ahead and turn around, if we can, and accept our next task. Are there any orders from Admiralty? Espionage at the Port of Alexandria. Your goal will be to transport a spy unharmed to the coordinates. We have already been there, so we know it very well. And get additional orders to drop him off. We can also do escort duty as well as... It looks like the Battle of the Mediterranean sector. You know, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to do this one. Because we are so close to the 100,000 gross register tonnage and completing this. So I'm thinking we might just do this really quick. Get it out of the way. And then we can come back and focus on escort duty and espionage. So let's go ahead and select this one. Beautiful. 6.45 in the morning it looks like. New mission. Reach patrol area. My goodness. What a beautiful day. And a beautiful mission that was. I mean, let's get everything loaded up here. Not too bad, if I do say so myself. Being able to go into the Port of Alexandria and knocking out numerous, countless ships again, that is going to send shockwaves through the Allied Naval Command and let them know that they have to start beefing up the ports, which is going to be both unfortunate but also promising for us because if they beef up the ports, now we're going to actually be able to look for warships that we can sink. 
and hopefully more ships in the area of the Mediterranean drawing that attention from the Atlantic and having to bring it back down here into the area of the African region for the African campaign, and that'll assist us. That's the hope, but we'll see how it goes. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all have enjoyed this episode. I know I certainly have. I can't thank you all for the constant support that you guys constantly show me. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, if you've enjoyed this episode, please comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. Likewise, if you did enjoy the episode, please give it a thumbs up as it helps me out and helps get this video out to many others. And if you are new to the channel and want to see more on this series and other series coming out, please consider subscribing. Until the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get back at it, get this U-boat resupplied, and we are heading right back out into the Mediterranean. Can't wait to see you on the next episode. Take it easy.